uh, ready to go. Pumped up for the new start, you know. Uh, pitched some innings, but not for this team, so it's kind of still a new experience for me. So I'm excited to get it going. Sam talked about how he really wanted you as a Saturday guy a couple of weeks ago to be like a you know, kind of settle down guy from the chaos of Friday. How does that like? Oh, it's awesome. You know, I'm going to do whatever I can to whatever role that is that he wants me to do and what Coach Bloomquist wants me to do and happy to do it. You know, if that's coming Saturdays and calm things down, if that's what needed to be, then yeah, that's what I'm doing and I'm happy to do it. Um, but it's awesome to have their support and excited to get going. Played for the Crosstown Rival at VCU, but what does it mean to have the ASU on your chest? Oh, it's awesome. Completely different. You know, you got the the legends that have played here, the history behind it, you know, that wasn't always at GCU. And uh, it's really cool, really cool to be here and really cool to put this uh, jersey on. What was the process like to kind of get to this point, obviously transferring in and then getting the Saturday job? What was kind of the off season like for you? Yeah, so I, I took some time off after um, the spring just because I was needed to rest my arm a little bit. But once I came back, started building up again, pitched a little bit in the fall and had to earn my spot, obviously. Uh, nothing's given um, at this level, but I uh, came here, competed my butt off, and yeah, I was lucky enough to get the spot. But um, yeah, whatever they want me to do, I'm happy to do, but it's awesome to be in this position. What are some of the, the keys in this offseason working with uh, Sam, just through your strengths, your weaknesses? Can you walk us through that process of you know, sort of refining your stuff ahead of the season over? Yeah, it's just fine tuning. Uh, you know, I feel like I know what I can do. Um, I've had success where I've been at with certain certain tools. Um, been a little inconsistent at times, so we're working on that. Uh, minimizing those big innings, which I've had um, in the past, but I've kind of learned just to simplify the game. Not letting the past dictate what, what you're about to do in the present. So simplifying it, doing one pitch at a time, seeing what you can do in this one pitch to get a guy out or just make a good pitch, put the team in a good position to win. Uh, so doing stuff like that, but yeah, I, I have full trust in my arsenal of pitches and uh, I'm excited to showcase it. City Clear, a team that made a pretty good run last year in the postseason. They're obviously very strong coming in this year. What do you expect to see from their bats come up this weekend? Yeah, I'm expecting them to be good. Uh, we have Eamon here, who is a transfer from Santa Clara. So um, he's given us a little insight of what to kind of expect, but I expect them to be good, I expect them to be aggressive and being ready to hit, you know, on the opposite end, I gotta be ready to pitch, just like all of our other guys have to be ready to pitch and play. You know, it's gonna be a dog fight, but uh, I'll take my chance with this team any day. What were some of the emotions you had when you found you're gonna be a Saturday guy? How was it just kind of broken through? Oh, uh, it was awesome. You know, it was kind of in the end of fall. It was like maybe this is where we're gonna want. We're not too sure yet, because uh, it's the end of fall. There's still months to go before the season, so nothing's for sure yet. Um, they kind of gave us. Said it to the team a few days ago at practice. Said this who we're for sure going with. Um, it was awesome. It, it's been it's been a really fun ride so far. Um, but now now is where the fun begins for everyone. Um, is actually getting to play, not against ourselves but against other teams and really showcase our skills and what we've been putting in all these hours for over the fall and winter and even spring so far. It's like all right now we go. So I'm excited. Kind of so. getting a front row seat to this lineup throughout preseason scrimmages. What do you, what's kind of like your comfort level knowing the skill that these guys have at the plate to back you up on the ground? Yeah, exactly. You know, I, I love each and every one of these guys. Uh, they're all extremely talented. I mean, our lineup one through nine is insane, right? So it's like if you can get these guys out, you know, you you got to trust your stuff because you'll be able to get anyone else out. So our lineup's really deep. Having these guys behind, playing defense behind me is going to be awesome. I trust them completely. If I can make my pitches, I trust that they're going to get the outs. Saturday guy can serve as a stabilizer and a pitching staff. How do you feel like you can provide stability for ASU? Yeah, absolutely. I feel like I can go, you know, the number of innings that they want. I can calm things if uh, if things get a little hectic at times. But, um, yeah, I think I can kind of just do what they need to do, what they need me to do, and I'm not, you know, you know intimidated by anyone or any kind of fans or whatever. So I, I encourage it, you know, if wherever we go and whoever we face, you know, I encourage the adversity. and. I know what I can do, and yeah, I'm excited. Being around a lot of young pitchers um, and you having experience in college baseball, do you feel like your experiences in different spots have allowed you to be able to have more of that stability among the pitching staff? Yeah, I feel like I've definitely been able to learn and grow more just because of the innings I've had in college. Uh, I'm still learning, though. You know, it, it's, I'm 
21. You know, I'm still learning the ins and outs of baseball still, but I've definitely had the in-person experience to where I feel like I'm in a good spot and helping these young guys out in any way I can if they want to come to me or if I see something from them. More than happy to help out. You know, I'm, that's what I'm here to do as well, not just pitch, but also to be a good teammate. Being from Scottsdale, did you kind of grow up an ASU fan going to games when you were a kid? Uh, I didn't do much in college as a kid. Uh, I just kind of just played baseball. I swam in high school, you know, I just kind of – did that and I was about it. I didn't really focus too much on college. You said you did swimming. Is there like any parallels that you can draw from that to pitching and baseball? Uh, it definitely helps with shoulder strength and core. You know, as a swimmer, you you move a lot in the water hours a day. Um, it's definitely not an easy sport. I think a lot of guys here can attest to that. Um, we did like a little swimming challenge for one of our Omaha week, uh, and <laughs> the guys did not look very good in the water. I'll, I'll say that they they some of them are they know who they are that they're not. They don't have swimming in their future, um, but uh, it's not an easy sport, but I'm very happy that I did it for seven, eight years that I did. Um, definitely kept me in shape, got me to where I am now, and it's yeah helped me stay healthy throughout What's the years. Stroke, uh, backstroke. backstroke. Yeah, I like backstroke, yeah. Seriously? Yeah, no, it's What's fun. What's your favorite event? Uh, I like the 100 back, 200 back, 100 breasts, 200 breasts, and I am. All those are fun for me. Have you seen any of ASU swimming this year? Uh, I haven't. I know a couple guys on the team because I used to swim with them, but I uh, haven't been able to. Uh, and then it's, uh, I don't like doing distance, so 500, mile, 1,000. I can't do that. No, that's that's, that's too much for me. Yeah. I've always thought the breast or the butterfly. Yeah, yeah butterfly is tough. Uh, breaststroke I like, though. It's fun. Um, swimming is fun. The com competitions were always fun. Can't say the pra I missed the practices too much, though. Those were, those were, <laughs> those were tough. Uh, pitching a lot of a lot of breathing and getting your rhythm and things like that. Has swimming also been able to help with that and calming down nerves and be able to, you know, really calm your body? Yeah, I feel like swimming does a lot for a person. I encourage a lot of people to go out there and swim. It just, even for just a recovery aspect, it can just um, get rid of that lactic acid that's kind of in your body from building up throughout the weeks or whatever. It, it's a good thing to do. Um, breathing also helps because, yeah, you're underwater. You got you to gotta take um, advantage of the breaths that you get. Um, so yeah, I, I still incorporate that now.